Hello guys, how you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 708 of One Piece today and I'm curious to see what they're going to show during this one. I don't know if they're going to um, show a bit of everything once again or if they're going to uh, focus on some um, some uh, like specific fight. Um, but yeah, either way, just really can't wait to see what's going to happen. So, hope you guys are ready and... Let's start this episode. I don't know, Viola was talking about how everyone is already pretty injured, which is... We can see. Saying that maybe it won't take too long for this to be over, so... I don't know. Really hard to know how much will happen. I don't know about the Destiny stuff, but he's definitely not here because he is a Celestial Dragon or anything. Just doing what's right. I still wonder what the D actually means, because it's um, an abbreviation. That was really nice. Hmm. He was too nice of a person to shoot his own brother, even if he was like this child of destruction. He just couldn't do it. It's something that already made me th made me think a lot about. Although Flamingo and Rosinante are so different from each other, it's crazy how two brothers can be like black and white in terms of personalities, like completely opposite. Ooh. Oh! We missed. Damn. 
He's probably not even paying attention to you. Holy this guy. Oh. Damn. Going to cut it all. Spider web. Is it literally just holding it? But yeah, this place is... Entirely being controlled by law, so... Damn! Oh, that was so close! It was going for, for his heart! Damn, you saw that coming. Man, what a fight. Oh, it Bellamy. Man, this really needs to stop. It needs to... Find a way to remove those strings from Bellamy. It's not like he cares about him. Man. Never imagined to see Bellamy in a situation like this. Never imagined to be sad about it. Going by what I saw of him the first time he appeared. It's really complicated for Luffy. It would be great if Zoro could stop Pika. The city is already so messed up. It's just going to get worse the more this keeps going. Sure. Ooh. What's this one?
What is that? <laughs> He's... Wait, is he... Killer bowling? Oh my god. What is that power though? He can control some someone to some extent. Not just one, he can... How does that work? I have a feeling that he did that before, but... I don't really know how it works. It's like he said those things and they just... followed the orders. What is he planning? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was, was that his love? Like... <laughs> I love Zoro's reaction as well. <laughs> Holy... This could be a problem. It would be easy to... take these guys out. I mean, like I said, it would be great if he did it, but... Not making it easy. Hmm. Yeah, but in the end, this was personal to him because of these emotions. And I won't deny it, though Flamingo is not wrong about it. Law got influenced by. Emotions. Yeah, hopefully, this won't mean that it was a mistake. Really, really trying to make him feel guilty, like he knew.
Oh, he has strings on him now. I don't know about that. I don't know what was written there. Damn. Oh shit! Just took his arm! Holy... Man, really? That's really not good. I wonder if he can somehow attach it, like using his his own power, but with the pain he's feeling and only one arm. I don't know if Don Flamingo would allow him to do that. Oh damn, that's the gun used before. Sure. Oh, is he going to... Is he going to break it? The, the roof? Literally where the real Doflamigo is standing? That would be great. Damn. Maybe not exactly where he is, but enough to stop this. Just behind law. Damn! It's completely destroyed his clone! It was nice. Man, 
It was nice that Luffy was able to do that, but... I mean, the situation is still not... Uh, not completely... Not even close to being uh, okay, I mean... Law just lost one of his arms and... I instantly started thinking that maybe he could use his power to... Um, like, reattach it somehow. I don't know if he's uh, um, capable of doing that, because... I don't know if I ever saw him um, uh, doing it uh, before. I know that um, when he cuts people with his sword while he's inside of room, um, like he can just uh, attach the parts and stuff. And uh, like the people who get cut, they can basically just uh, um, attach the parts to each other, and it will be uh, fine. Um, but uh, this is completely different. His arm was literally uh, ripped um, apart, and not uh, with his power. So. That was just really disturbing in a way and makes me really worried about Law in case he, um, he in case he doesn't um, like in case he's not able to um, reattach it. Um, but yeah, it was again. It's it's a really tense fight and uh, I don't know how things uh, will happen from now on. But every time I see Doflamingo smiling, um, I just become uh, even more worried. So this guy is just. Uh, really ruthless and it's uh, really hard to um, predict uh, what else um, he, he will do um, but yeah it's um, it's still going to be interesting to see how things will happen i mean there's uh, so much to think about and of course this is like a um, like maybe the main fight or so to say even though there's still uh, some other really important fights uh, going on um, but yeah, just really can't wait to see what else um, is going to happen and hopefully um, Law will be able to, um, to put his uh, arm back uh, um, like on his body. Um, but yeah, with this, just hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this episode. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.